Bills that could limit transgender athletes in schools and restrict medical treatment are waiting for committee hearings at the state capitol. Until we hear more from their authors, NBC Local 33's Kennedy Walker breaks down what parents of transgender youth are saying about that bill. Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards is standing firm, saying he will not support legislation that keeps transgender individuals from getting medical treatment or playing on the athletic team that matches their gender identity. The idea that the, the weight of the state would be put behind something that to me is unnecessary and discriminatory and very hurtful for those individuals. One proposal by State Senator Mike Fessy would require parental consent for transgender children to get gender affirming therapy, puberty blockers, or receive hormones. Parents like Kathleen Hyde think the bill is outrageous. The hypocrisy of saying we need to be involved in your personal medical decisions with you and your child's doctor. I mean, there's no other, like, there's no other medical condition or treatments. That you you got to require um, two parents to consent. Hyde has a child who identifies as non-binary, meaning they don't identify as male or female. She says bills like Fessy's are unwarranted because everyone deserves health care. This population isn't going anywhere. These kids aren't going anywhere. These families aren't going anywhere. These kids need health care. Um, gender affirming care is health care. It is suicide prevention. It is health care. We know that. We reached out to Fessy for a statement, but did not hear back. Another pending bill created by Representative Beryl Amity would ban trans athletes from participating in female sports in public schools. Supporters say it's unfair to let trans girls compete against those assigned female at birth. The bill specifically says it wouldn't prohibit co-ed teams as long as they don't ban women's teams to create the co-ed team. President of Louisiana's trans advocates, Dylan Wagenspach, is fighting for this bill to not get passed. The state really doesn't have any business uh, being a part of that decision. Next year, New Orleans is set to host the NCAA men's Final Four game, but the NCAA says they will not come to states that are not free from discrimination. If these bills pass and the NCAA pulls out, the state risks losing millions of dollars. Kennedy Walker, NBC Local 33 News. A rally is happening at the Capitol May 5th to protest these bills. This legislation is still waiting to head to committee hearings where we expect to hear more information from both sides of this debate.